Before we go any further, yes, I want to talk about your purpose. Now, Jean-Pierre said it's your why. Now, it's kind of like your why, but it's a little bit different, but they do tend to go hand in hand. Your purpose is kind of this place of fulfillment, you know, um, that you know there's something more to life, that you know um, you've, you've got a purpose and, and, you know, but what I want to ask you is how many of you actually know what your purpose is? You do, wow, well done guys. And how many of you know you have a purpose, but you haven't yet figured it out? Okay, well that's just me then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, so your purpose, right? To me, the purpose, your purpose, it's something that is constantly shifting. It's something that um, I believe personally that there's, you actually have more than one purpose, you know, because a lot of people say, well, what's your purpose? You can say, well, it, you know, I'm a mum. So my purpose is to be a really great mum to my children. Um, and yes, that is absolutely a purpose. You know, you want to give your children the best in life. But then isn't there something that's else that you need to fulfill apart from just being a, I don't want to put it down. Obviously, I'm a mum, you know, just being a mum. But there's something else as well. Yeah. Yeah. And Amber's nodding. Um, you know, there, there is more than one purpose that we have to fulfill. And there's the ones that are very much, you know, they're there. You know, you can't get around it. There's your family that, you know, my purpose is to be a great mum to my boys, to bring them up with the knowledge that I'm learning with this more worldly view of there is more opportunity, more things going on out in the world than, than we actually see, you know, or, or that's served up to us really, you know, by the whole society um, kind of thing. You know, I want to be um, a good daughter to my parents. Um, you know, I, I, I have various different purposes, but they're very much, you know, um, of serving, I suppose, still but it's my family and to be a good person in general so you know that's a kind of a, a general overview of of what your purpose could be but you know I still feel I've got a greater purpose and I can't quite put my finger on it uh, and I think it is because you know part of your purpose is the process you know it's the journey that we're on this journey of growth and um, you know where you end up now there's a lot of people you know the people who are on this call you're way ahead of a heck of a lot of people out there who don't even think there is a purpose you know they're, they're kind of like they're in their little world in their you know a lot of them are in their nine to five bubble we all know about that we are the ones who are kind of waking up to the fact that there is more out there and it's kind of figuring out where you slot in to that bigger picture now, you know, I know when I started this online journey, my purpose was to make money, which was, you know, basically to fuel the purpose of having more free time and doing the things that I want to do. But on another level, there is another level, isn't there? And it's kind of this uh, spiritual or, you know, religious level where we know we're here for something bigger and we've got to give something bigger. And what the heck is that? You know, we know um, we want to serve other people. And this is where, actually, is that whole serving side of things. But, but we have our different places for doing that. Now, the Super Affiliate Network obviously gives us that opportunity to expose people to what can be possible in their lives. Yeah, it, it teaches them how they can have that freedom by having a business online. But that's not what it's all all about you know for me the super affiliate network has a much bigger purpose and that is to free people that is to show people the way it's like a little beacon of light and you know what, what can be a pretty dark um world that we live in you know it's 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 waking people up and we are a cog in that bigger wheel and it's also our duty to get out there and wake people up as well yeah, but that is not our only purpose either. You know, this is what I'm saying. We have so much more. There is so much more. And for me, I'm, I'm kind of saying, yeah, you know, this is what Super Affiliate Network does for you. But it also allows me to figure out kind of the other stuff that's going on, because um, 
you know there is so many other opportunities out there as well and it also just allows you the time and the freedom eventually you know when you get to that point to really get deep and figure that stuff out and and then you can you know if you want to you can do charity work you can really serve on a, a different level um other than just you know introducing people to to this because that is what it's all about it just kind of opens up these opportunities and this these possibilities of what else there is in your life now another way to think of your purpose is really to live your life every single day right you should have a daily purpose and your daily purpose is to live your life live your life in alignment live your life in a joyful way you know you should, you're, every day should be bringing you joy and if it isn't then you've got to ask yourself questions what brings me joy what do i love doing what do i talk about all the time what do i think about all the time what lights me up these questions will not only help you just you know light up your life and take your life to another level because you know again this is where the super affiliate network comes in because it gives you the freedoms to pursue some of those joys but some of those joys are singing along to the radio in the car and kind of dancing like i do in my crazy way when i'm driving i'm sure people think i'm nuts you know because i'm just getting in my groove in the car and and um you know things like that things that just really lift your spirits and it's having the freedom to do those things if it's to travel the world then you know fantastic taking new experiences you know that is something i really want to do it's something i want to experience with my boys and my husband and i have kind of talked about this you know we really want to take them and fill their lives with experiences rather than stuff you know <laughs> um but yeah, but when you um, do this on a day to day basis, be intentional every single day. You know, what, how am I going to fulfill my purpose today? How am I going to make myself happy? And I know it sounds selfish, but when you are in a joyful, you know, high vibrational state, then you are radiating that out and it actually impacts on all the people around you. So your children, your family, the people you walk past in the street, because I usually walk around with a stupid smile on my face, you know, <laughs> and you never know who that's going to touch on next and who's, whose day you're going to brighten. You know, it's talking to that person stood next to you in the checkout queue and, and, and just passing on those good vibes, you know, coming out from your heart and, you know, on a daily basis, um, you can carry out those, when you're coming from that place of joy, those random acts of kindness are so much easier, so much easier to, to just, it just comes more naturally to you. And this is why you need to really think about your purpose. What makes you happy? What fills you with joy? And just do those things, you know, even if it is just rocking out in your car, it doesn't matter if it's dancing around while you're preparing your dinner. And, you know, it doesn't have to be one a big thing. You know, it's the things that make you happy. And when you're happy, you're in a state of pres being present. You know, someone gave me a really good analogy of, you know, you have to enjoy the journey. You have to embrace the journey. You know, when you dance, you're not dancing to get to the end of the dance. You're dancing because you're in the moment. When you're singing a song, you're not singing to get to the end of the song. So why are we always in such a hurry to, you know, yes, we have our goals, okay? When we do, they're usually financial goals so that we can, because that liberates us from everything else. But the point is, you know, yes, we, we, we will get to those goals, but we've got to enjoy the journey. And I think that really has to be integral to your purpose, okay? Because it does get tough. OK, and, and for those of you who are new to the Super Affiliate Network, the ones who have been in it for a while, the people who, like me, I've been an internet marketer for a couple of years now, you get really, really hard days and it gets lonely. And, you know, those are the days when you need to dig deep and realise there is something more that you're working towards. This is where the why comes in, you know, keep that why in the forefront of your head, have pictures I've got vision boards all around my desk here. You can't see them because they're not behind me. They're right in front of me as I'm working. So on those days I'm sat there scratching my head, I just look up and I can see my why straight away. It hits me in the face and that just motivates me to carry on. Your why gives you motivation, but your purpose, living your purpose, will give you that daily joy, that, that you know, bringing you into alignment, that, that fire to really see it through. So, you know, guys, um, I just really want you to think about, you know, the things that really, really, really make you happy, the things that give you the fire in your belly, the things that you just enjoy. And it doesn't have to be, you know, if you enjoy cooking, then 
go and cook something, you know, and especially when you hit those low points. I actually have a playlist on my iPhone and it's called Happy. And if I'm struggling, I put that on and straight away it lifts my vibe and I'm feeling much better. I get my groove on and I'm ready to, you know, face the world again. I'm feeling much, much happier. If you can just tap into those little things, you know, so I think your daily purpose just has to be to find that joy. And here's the kicker, right? When you find it, you shine. Okay. You shine and people are attracted to you. And how much does that help you in your online business? I can tell you it helps you massively, massively. And that's really, you know, where a lot of my success has come from because I put myself out there on live. I've talked about it before, live and video and that kind of thing. But it allows me to shine. It allows me to pass on my good vibes to other people. You've probably seen me. I, I co-host um, a show once a week as well. Um, and I'm the one who's always laughing and joking and, you know, just, just having fun. And yes, I do do the odd live where I might be drinking my gin. I'm not an alcoholic, I promise. I just have the odd one every now and again. <laughs> but you know what? You've got to have fun. And I think if you can't find the joy, if joy is eating your ice cream, if, you know, I'm all for eating healthy and everything else. And, but, you know, you, you've got to find that happy medium. You've got to find the things that make you happy. And the things that make you happy will then radiate out to other people. And it's contagious. It's so contagious in a similar way that negativity is contagious. So don't let that stuff in constantly, consistently, you know, make sure you keep yourself in that, that vibration and consistently block out negativity. Get it off your newsfeed, unfollow, unfriend, do whatever you have to do. Just get it off your newsfeed and Facebook. You know, the people you surround yourself with, make sure you're in, you know, surrounding yourself more with positivity. I know sometimes, you know, we have to deal with negativity. That's just part of life. But if the majority of your life is, is, you know, surrounded in this joy, surrounded in this light, then you're going to find it much easier to navigate your way through, through the, the more difficult times. So that kind of brings me to a close, but I really want to share with you um, this video um, that I saw uh, that was shared today in a group. And it's actually shared by um, Billy Montes, uh, Montes, Montes, I'm not sure. Anyway, Billy. <laughs> and um, I thought this is so in alignment with everything I'm talking about today. So I'm just going to share my screen and I want you guys to watch this because it's absolutely fantastic. So you just bear with me a moment. you've got to ask yourself what do I want out of life what do you want out of life what do you want out of a job what do you want out of a career what do you want out of a relationship what do you want what gives you your life what how will you know when you got it what will make you happy you need to know you need to start asking yourself some questions what do I really really truly want You envision something, you got clear about it, and then you start thinking about all the reasons why you wanted it. You got excited about it. So this is what's next for me now. I want this. You may have dreamed about it, thought about it, talked about it. But when you focus on something continuously, something magical happens. You get insights, don't you? You overhear a conversation and you hear something you wouldn't have heard if you didn't have that outcome or goal that you wanted so badly. If you have a specific skill set or talent that just immediately propels you to the top, yeah, you want to follow that. When you find something you're good at, yeah. go for it. Yeah. And I also, also always say it's not about passion. Everybody's got passion for something, yeah. right? Don't follow your passions, follow your efforts. Because okay. people say, you know, I was passionate to play baseball. I was passionate yeah. to play basketball. Yeah. It doesn't mean I, all of a sudden I was going to be good enough. Yeah. But I found myself spending, being really curious about business, being really curious about technology. And that curiosity is really what drove me. And I think, particularly if you're young today, curiosity is great. Always learning and trying to find new things and being curious about new things. Because that's what leads you to that path. Trying to figure out in advance, yeah. that's hard because you don't know what you yeah. don't know. You have to have an emotional investment in what you're doing. If you don't love what you're doing, um, failure is pretty much guaranteed. Success is not guaranteed by any means, but failure is m much more likely if you don't love what you're doing. 
your life would feel better and richer if you had a goal, you chase that goal, you accomplish some things, you would get this boost of confidence, you'd get this boost of self-esteem, like whatever it is that you're into doing. Maybe you're into drawing comic books, maybe you're into uh, making pottery or sculptures, or who, but find whatever the f that is and pursue that instead of doing nothing. Now is the time to take risk. You don't have kids. As you get older, your obligations increase. And once you have a family, you start taking risks, not just for yourself, but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time t to do that uh, before, you, before you have those obligations. So I would, I would encourage you to take risks now, do something bold. If you want to control your own destiny, you work for yourself. That's how it works. I'm trying to inspire those of you who are on the tipping point. Take the chance, you're young. Go for it. There's nothing better than being able to wake up in the morning, 10 years or 20 years from now, and do whatever you like. So you want to work on yourself. You want to read books that inspire you and motivate you. You want to listen to tapes over and over and over again. And I suggest that you listen to tapes when you first get up in the morning. You want to control the spirit of your day. When you first wake up in the morning, your mind is operating at 10.5 wave cycles per second. That's when the subconscious mind is most impressionable. Whatever you hear in the first 20 minutes when you wake up, that will affect the spirit of your day. You want to make your dream come true, you got to stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you want to go. The one commodity that is most valuable on this earth is time. Time to love, time to live. From the moment the human body is born, it begins dying. <laughs> I don't think you, you quite caught that. Let me say it again. From the moment the human body is born, it begins dying. Some happen faster, some happen slower, some of us help them happen, go faster, and some of them prevent it from happening sooner than later. How many seconds, how many minutes do we waste every day doing things that are nowhere near the goals and aspirations and passions that we have inside? How many times do you go through the course of a day and realize did I do anything I set out to do today? Write down those goals each and every day. No matter if it's two goals a day, if you can accomplish those, then you're doing more than just making it through the day. You are living and achieving your dreams. Find time to better yourself. Read, explore, research. Live life. Do things you've never thought of doing before. That's what it's all about. When you're born, that's that date that they put on the left side of the tombstone. <laughs> when you die, they put another date on the right side of the tombstone. But that dash in the middle is the most important thing on that tombstone. That is a line that throughout that entire time frame, you were able to impact and touch others' lives. You were able to leave your mark on this earth. You were able to build a legacy that nobody could change. You were able to have it to where people remembered who you are no matter what. When you're living for that dash in the middle, you're gonna remember your why. <laughs> your why, why you're here. Not, not the why, why did you do something. Your why, your, your reason for getting up in the morning, your reason for pushing yourself past the brink of exertion and giving up. Your reason for moving on and, and, and getting things done in life. That dash in the middle, that's the thing that pushes you. How do you rate yourself on a scale of one to 10 in terms of your physical appearance, in terms of your health? Do you take care of yourself? Are you allowing yourself to get overweight and out of shape? Are you conscious of your health? Are you watching the food that you take into your body? Do you make a deliberate effort to exercise? You know, it was George Burns, he said, we cannot help getting older, but we don't have to get old. 
And many of us get old before our time because we don't take time to take care of ourselves. Your environment is a very good indicator on a scale of one to 10. Is it what you want it to be? Do you find it desirable? Are you satisfied? The job or career that you're involved in. Someone said that 85% of the American public unhappy with their jobs. Are you spending eight hours a day just doing time? Doing something that you don't find challenging, that does not make you stretch mentally, that does not stimulate you, that does not inspire you. Something that you don't find a sense of fulfillment in it. If you're doing that day in and day out, it has to affect how you feel about yourself, your level of motivation, your relationships. What kind of impact is it having on your life? Is it nourishing or is it a toxic relationship? Does it drain you or does it build you up? Ask yourself that. How motivated are you to do something about it? Your contribution, your actions. What are you giving? Many people will leave the universe without a trace. No one will know they were here. And in fact, under their name, we could put under there, not used up. Will anybody know that you came this way? What contribution are you giving? What will you leave? What will be different because you came this way? Just, just stop for a second. Write down your why. What, what are you doing this for in life? If your why doesn't make you cry, then that's not your why. Again, if your why doesn't make you cry, then that's not your why. Your why should be something so big that it moves your family tree. Your why should be something so big that it changes the whole outlook on how things are with you and your home, your family, your religion, your purpose. Think about your passion. Think about your opportunities. And that's how you find your purpose. OPP. When that why meets up with your passion, your opportunity, your purpose, then you'll find out. The most important day in your life is the day you remember why you were born.